Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect an external email client to your RainLoop server. Now I made a video about how to set up uh, your own email server on CyberPanel and by default the email client for that is RainLoop. So uh, that's where this is all coming from. If you need to watch that video first to get to where we are, uh, please do that. Uh, but if you are using RainLoop in another context, then these same uh, similar steps should apply to you as well. So by the end of this video, I want to connect my uh, self-hosted email server with CyberPanel using RainLoop uh, to Gmail. Okay, so by the end of the video, that's what we want to do. If that's something you want to learn how to do as well, whether it's for Gmail or Thunderbird or Outlook, uh, the, steps, the steps will be similar, um, but the same concepts will apply as far as how to set that up. So uh, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial and we will uh, try to set this up. So um, here we go. I have my cyber panel running here. The domain name we're using is site6.xyz. So let's make a web, uh, sorry, not a website. We'll make an email address. So we'll go to email, create email, and you might already have an email address, uh, but that's okay. Just go ahead and skip forward. We'll call this test at site6.xyz. That's our email address and the password, Tony, make sure I would type this right, Tony teaches tech. Okay, so let's create that email address. Uh, there we go, it was created. So we can go to our webmail and log in with that those credentials. So test at site6.xyz and then Tony teaches tech. Gotta make sure I type it right. Tony teaches tech. So good. All right, so we're logged into our account here. Um, and the, the thing is, this is this is typically, you could use this like a normal email address in here, but the goal here, as I said, was to be able to send email from an external client and not through rain loop. So how do we do that? Well, we're logged in here. Instead of um, in this URL up here, instead of going to this address, we want to go to the admin panel and we can access that by going to uh, slash rain loop question mark admin. OK. And this is going to ask for a login, username, and password. Um, that information is actually located on your server. So you can use a file manager to get that information. I'm just going to use an SSH terminal session. So I'm going to SSH as root into this domain name. Um, and then I have my key set up so I don't have to type in a password. So at, uh, where's the, so let's look at the file at user local cyber cp public and then rainloop.php um, here is the password so we'll copy that the this is the admin password for rainloop we'll quit out of that and i believe it's just admin and that password does that work yeah so this is the admin dashboard for rainloop um, what we want to do in here is uh, look at the domain section Oops, this one right here, domains. And they have some of these in here. This is kind of confusing. Um, like they have Gmail in here already. Uh, but what we want to work with is site6.xyz, the domain name that's associated with the email address that you want to check in an external client. So let's click on that. And this is where we see our IMAP and SMTP settings. So Basically, I, I've played around in here, and what I found that works uh, the best is to use port 993 um, and the server instead of localhost, making it that's the domain name of your uh, your your website. So sites uh, 6.xyz for me, and then um, this is going to be SSL TSL, and then for SMTP similar site. 6.xyz the port is 465 and then uh, we're also going to use SSL and TSL now you can use short I haven't tested it you can use short login um, instead of typing you'll, you'll see it later on when we have to type this in in Gmail instead of typing this you can type in this um, but we're not going to do that um, but that looks good so let's test it out see if those, uh, those that information works for our setup here and it does because uh, these changed to green so we're good to go so let's update that information 
And that, as far as the rain loop is concerned, that's all we have to do at this point. So let's hop into our Gmail inbox again. If you're using like Thunderbird or something else or Outlook, then you're going to make those same changes in there just in a, a, a similar manner, but different actual steps. So um, let's go here. We're going to use this email address, Tony Nicholas, Arizona at gmail.com. So in here, let's go to settings, uh, see all settings. We'll go to accounts and import and add a mail account uh, right here. So check mail from other account. The email address is test at site6.xyz. Click on next. Import emails using pop3, click next. So the username, like I was saying, you could use the short version or you can explicitly type the whole thing, site6.xyz. Um, the password for this is the uh, password that we typed in earlier. So that's Tony teaches tech. And then the pop server is just site6.xyz because um, we don't have that subdomain configured. The port is 995 in this case. And we want to check, uh, leave a copy of retrieve messages on the server. Always use SSL when receiving mail and label incoming messages. Uh, that's just a nice uh, extra feature to have. Um, OK, so let's add that account. And if we don't get any error messages, then I think we're good to go. So yep, we're good to go here. Your mail has been added. Do you uh, also want to be able to send mail? So we, we configured checking mail. Do we want to be able to send mail? And uh, yes, we do. So let's also set that up. Uh, that name is fine. You can type in your name instead. And we're going to use the same email address, treat it as an alias. Next step um, here, it's going to be just site6.xyz. The username is test at site6.xyz. Uh, this time the port is 465 and the password is Tony. Tony teaches tech and we'll also use uh, SSL. Okay, so let's add that account and we're good to go. So it says uh, confirm verification and add your email address. So it just wants this uh, confirmation email. So that will be, um, I forget where that shows up. Does it show up in here or in your rain loop mail? So let's go back to our rain loop uh, server, see if we get that email address. So we'll sign in test at site6.xyz. Tony teaches tech for the password. And there we go. So we got that confirmation email from Gmail for the ability to send mail as this account, this email address. So we'll copy that confirmation code, uh, minimize this, put that in here to verify, and we're good to go. So let's test it out. Let's go back to Gmail and see if we have the ability to send email from test at site6.xyz within the Gmail inbox. So let's make a new email from test at site6.xyz. We'll send it to Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. The subject will be, hey, hey, Tony, how are you? Bye. Okay, so we'll send that over to um, to Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com, and we'll see if he gets that. Oh, and this is this is something that I noticed too. There is I'm clicking on the send button here, but there is some type of propagation delay between the amount of time between when you actually set up your uh, email, like the steps that we just did, and when you are able to actually send email. So that's not working right now. But let's uh, let's just minimize this for now. Uh, we'll go over to Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com, that inbox, and we'll we'll try to receive an email to um, to from Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com to uh, test at site6.xyz. Uh, so we'll say hello from TTT. What's up? All right, so let's see if we are able to receive messages and we'll go back over to this inbox and there we, uh, that's that, that's not the one we're looking for. That just came through though. So that's a good sign. Um, let's see if we get that email. 
we'll give it a little bit to come through. Refresh the page. Nothing yet. Um, we'll get out of here for now, I guess. So let's let's uh, let's fast forward the video until we get that email. Okay, uh, we it just came through. We got it. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected, but we have the email from Tony Teaches Tech to test at site6.xyz. We can see that explicitly here. And let's see if the, the replying, the send email from works. So from test at site6.xyz uh, to an external email address using Gmail. Let's say, uh, what's up? Not Nothing much. How about you? So we'll send that. This time it's sent, so you just there's a little bit of a delay here, uh, but that's okay. Just have some patience. So the message was sent. Let's see if Tony teaches tech at gmail.com is able to receive that. Um, I think the same thing here. We'll just, oh, it, there we go. It came through pretty quickly. Uh, nothing much. How about you? From test at site six at xyz to Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. So point of this whole video is showing you how to set up an external email client. We use Gmail as an example, but uh, the same process should apply for you if you're using a different email client. Hopefully this makes sense for you and hopefully you found some value out of it. Let me know if you have any questions below. Give it a thumbs up if you did get some value out of it. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.